neighbor. Have you ever been on an adventure where you started to question your decisions? Well, this was one of those adventures. The Appalachian Journey Long Dog, 110 miles, 14,000 feet of elevation. This ride isn't for the faint of heart. And Friday night, the rain had already rolled in. So my goal was to get the camp set up and then head over to HQ and do the shakeout ride sponsored by the Black Bibs. When all that riding in the rain was over, it was time for some food. And some pasta with some tomato sauce sounded like a great idea. And trust me, it is the spot. Saturday morning and the weather isn't any better. Rain, rain, rain. We started out up front with the fast guys and just let it all unfold from there. The evening before, the organizers had made a decision to shorten the long doggy from 110 miles down to just 82 miles, which was a decision I wasn't actually mad at. So Greg and I were just talking about how these Floyd roads are starting to become familiar to us, which is great. We've been doing a handful of rides up here when we can. The uh, Virginia guys, Gordon, Tony, and those folks, very welcoming. So it's awesome to come up here and ride with such great people. This rain, look at him. Look at him. They absolutely hate this rain. Watch that peanut butter up there. No, <laughs> yeah, I saw it. The Appalachian Journey is such an awesome event. It's one where you're guaranteed to see folks that you know, as well as meet new people who share the same passion about gravel cycling and the great outdoors as you. One of the sponsors at the event was Five Mile Mountain Moonshine, and you could find their table set up at the top of one of the hills that we climbed. Let's just say that the barrel aged rye may have given me a tiny bit more confidence on the next descent. So we rolled into the third rest stop only to meet this handsome dog, grab a quick snack, and then roll on to the fourth and final rest stop. Leaving the fourth stop, as the wind wasn't bad enough, we made a wrong turn. One that tacked on another nine-ish miles and somewhere around a thousand feet of elevation. I guess we thought we needed to tack on a little extra since uh, it was shortened the night before. As we inch closer and closer to the finish, my heart became more and more filled with joy. Mainly because this windy ass ride was about over. But also, extremely happy to have met folks like Rico and Hugh, and many, many more there at the Appalachian Journey. Oh. 
So I was so ecstatic to finally see this finish line and cross through it. Though this ride was a lot of fun, I was happy for this ride to be over with. The wind was just totally brutal. Um, I didn't get too many shots to show you how brutal the wind was, um, but uh, you can see here as I was trying to change in my tent out of my kit, how the tent practically almost uprooted itself out of the ground from the stakes and, and I mean, it knocked everything over. So uh, the wind was horrible and it, it just got worse throughout the day. So bad. I ended up packing up camp and just driving home that night. It's a two hour drive, so it wasn't too bad. But um, shout out to, to Gordon, Emmy. Those folks know how to put on an event. It was awesome uh, to see them again. And uh, it was awesome to do my first Appalachian journey. Did the long doggy. Once again, they shortened it to 82 miles. Um, not mad at that whatsoever. That was uh, a good call on their behalf due to that high wind. Um, the 110 miles would be doable, but not with 25, 30 mile per hour winds gust up to around 50, 60 miles per hour. So it's, it was pretty, it was, it was hard. Great ride, great event. Um, if you're ever in uh, the area during one of these events and you're looking for a gravel ride, this is the one you want to do. Um, you do need a partner for the Appalachian Journey, but the Mountaineer that's coming up is a uh, little uh, typically done north of this area. Uh, you do not need a partner for. Um, a little shorter, but I think the terrain is a lot worse uh, as far as, uh, and I say a lot worse, is a lot harder. Um, but yeah, check it out. Um, they do an awful, awesome job putting together an event, uh, great aid stations, uh, great little after party um, with food and uh, all kinds of things. So uh, s'mores in this last one. Thanks to my partner in this, Greg over at Pedal Vision. Um, he was awesome uh, waiting for me in spots and uh, made sure that we crossed the finish line somewhat at the same time. I was so happy to see it. I just sped past him, but yeah, thanks to him um, for sticking with me and uh, not being too angry about the uh, call I made on the, the miss route, but um, you've made it this far. Go ahead and smash that like button and uh, yeah, maybe we'll catch you on the next adventure. Cheers. Hey Dale, Dale, get over here, man. I think I got the camera on and I think everything's good. All right, man, hey, this is Virgil Dean, Virgil Dean and, and Dale here. And I'm gonna tell you next year, we're gonna enter into this Appalachian journey and we're gonna win it on our own custom build gravel bikes that's right you heard it here first virgil dean and dale partnering up dale i promise I'll, I'll keep you out of the wall next year 2024 the appalachian journey get ready <laughs>